everybody welcome back to a new video it's monday morning today and i'm about to make my breakfast and quickly wanted to share it with you because i'm thinking about filming or what i eat in a week since i just moved out so therefore i have to cook all my meals myself and also just love cooking in summer so that's why i thought that it was the perfect time to make another what i eat in a week for breakfast today i'm going to make an omelet i'm gonna have three eggs for that and then i'm going to fill it with some red bell pepper and some red onion I'm just gonna fill it with some stuff that I have left in the fridge. I also have some spinach. And then I always love adding cheese to my omelet. This just makes the omelet. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna start off by heating up some oil in my pan. I'm going to let this get hot and then in the meantime, I'm going to dice up my onion and my bell pepper. By the way, a little tip, I always leave this part on, on the onion when I'm cutting it because my eyes don't tear up as much when cutting an onion. Okay, so I'm currently cooking my spinach and red onion over medium heat. And I'm going to transfer the onion and spinach onto a plate. And then now I'm going to crack my eggs. To the pan I'm going to add a little bit more oil, there's also still some in there from the spinach and stuff. I'm going to add the egg. Now you really have to be patient and wait. I'm going to like slowly let the egg set, I'm not going to rush the process so I'm just going to leave this sitting here and in the meantime I'm going to be shredding some parmesan cheese. sit for a little bit so that the cheese can melt okay this is my little omelet actually my big omelet it's not that small but i'm so excited to eat this it smells really good and i also really love extra breakfast i feel like eggs are such a satisfying thing to have for breakfast whether it's an omelet or like scrambled eggs it's almost lunchtime, but before I'm going to start prepping lunch, I am going to first cut up this melon because I've been loving melons as a snack lately. Okay, so for lunch, I'm going to make a little sandwich. I was really craving a baguette, so I just ran over to the bakery and grabbed one and I got lucky because these are freshly baked like they literally just put out a new batch it smells so good it's still warm this is why I love living in France so for lunch I'm gonna have some brie cheese with some orange jam on my baguette I love that combination in general just cheese and I don't know how to pronounce the word jam 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 Sometimes you can really notice that English is not my native language. I'm gonna also probably cut up a little bit of this red bell pepper that I had this morning. I don't feel very satisfied if I don't have any veggies with my meal. I think it's probably just because I'm so used to it that my body literally just craves it. Do you hear that sound? Oh my god.
Hmm. You know what I find such a luxury in life, which I feel like we often take for granted, is being able to eat exactly what you're craving. Because obviously that's not possible every day. But if you have something in your mind that you're really craving and then you're actually able to eat it, Wow, I'm so exhausted. I've been editing all day. My eyes are really tired, so I feel like I need to take a break. And I was gonna grab some ice cream. And since I'm filming what I eat in a week, I have to include it, obviously. And also because I wanted to talk about this, because this ice cream is such a childhood memory for me. I'm way too tiny. If I was like a couple of centimeters bigger, this would be the perfect place to put my camera. I'm literally standing on my toes right now. Anyways, bounty ice cream. If you know you... No, this stuff is so special to me and I'm going to explain why. In Amsterdam, they don't sell these and these to me are just happiness because when I lived in Abu Dhabi with my family, I would always get these at the little supermarket that they call them bakala. And whenever I had like a long day or it was a super hot day or my dad wanted to cheer me up, he would always get me these bounty ice creams from the bakala. <laughs> and they are so good, they're incredible. I love the taste of these. I'm also obsessed with the Snickers ice cream, but I can buy that one in Amsterdam. However, the Bounty ice cream, they don't sell in Amsterdam. Like they only sell it in Southern Europe, I think. The last time I had these was when I was in Spain last year. That's when I found one. And then the other day I was in the supermarket and I was craving some ice cream and I wanted to buy the Snickers ice cream. And then suddenly I saw Bounty ice cream in front of me and I literally screamed on the inside because my inner child is just so happy to be eating this again. Just had to share that. <laughs> it doesn't have those coconut chunks that a regular bounty has. I'm not the biggest fan of a regular bounty, but this stuff hits different. It's honestly just the perfect ice cream. I was calling with a friend and I forgot to show you what I had for dinner, but I made a really simple cucumber quinoa tuna salad and I've shared this recipe before on my channel. So I'm just gonna link that vlog in the description so that you can see the instructions. Okay, I just came back from the grocery store and I wanted to do a quick haul because I got a lot of the staples that I've been loving having around the house lately. So first of all, I got a huge block of tofu so that I can always just have a protein with my meals. Eggs, such an essential for breakfast especially. Got some corn because I really want to make a pasta salad um, tomorrow maybe. I've been obsessed with pasta salads this summer. And then I got my favorite milk, the rice coconut milk. I'm so happy because this milk is so much cheaper in France. In Amsterdam, this milk is like five euros and I just couldn't justify spending that much money on milk. But in Toulouse, it's only like 250 or something, which is honestly such a steal for rice coconut milk. Then I got a piece of chicken for dinner. Just got like a small piece because I want to make a stir fry tonight. I got two cucumbers. Cucumbers are also such an essential for me to have in my fridge in summer. Like whenever I'm craving a veggie and something fresh, I just love having a piece of cucumber. I love throwing it in salads. Cucumbers, tomatoes, and peppers are my summer vegetable staples, I would say. So I, I got three regular tomatoes. I got a green pepper. I honestly prefer red bell peppers, but we didn't have any. And then finally, I also got some cherry tomatoes nothing crazy but i still wanted to show you and i'm going to make a little greek salad right now because i had a pretty late breakfast so i'm not really hungry have a pre-mixed um, salad dressing which is basically like a Greek salad dressing so I'm going to use this right now but I'll put the recipe in the description for you guys. Dinner time, and I'm about to make a stir fry for dinner. I absolutely love 
making stir fries it's such a practical yet delicious meal and i already got started on the food prep i prefer prepping it in advance because one thing that bothers me about stir fries is that i find it quite stressful when the pan is really hot and you still need to cut up all your stuff so that's why i already did that so here i have some red onion ginger and garlic and then i have some chicken breast and i also have some leftover rice from yesterday so i'm gonna use that and then for the stir fry i'm actually going to be using frozen veggies i have a pack in my freezer i'm the biggest advocate for frozen vegetables because if you're making a stir fry for example you first of all don't need to cut up the veggies you know frozen veggies are also very fresh because they get cut up and immediately get frozen and i also just love having this in the freezer because yesterday i wanted to have something with veggies for dinner and i went to the grocery store in the evening and all the fresh produce was sold out so at first i was really stressed and i was like shit what am i gonna make for dinner because i really want something with veggies and then i was like thank god i have this bag in my freezer so i was able to use this so that's why i also can really recommend just always having a bag of frozen vegetables in your freezer anyways i'm going to use coconut oil and i'm going to start off by making my pan really hot and whilst the oil is getting hot, I'm going to get started on the sauce that I make for my stir fry because the sauce is really what's going to make or break the stir fry. So I love doing a peanut butter soy honey sauce. It's literally so good. So I kind of eyeball it, but I basically do, I would say like a small tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and then a tablespoon of peanut butter. And then I also add a little bit of hot water to it and then I just mix it up. It's kind of annoying this little glass. If you have a whisk, I would recommend using that. So now that my pan is hot, I'm going to add the chicken. First of all. Somehow the chicken looks pink because of my camera. I swear to God, it's cooked through. I don't know what my camera is doing. Chicken is out of the pan. I still have a lot of oil in here. So now I'm going to add the onion. And then I'm gonna add the garlic and ginger. And it's really important that you don't skip this step because this is what gets all the aromatics in. But now we can add our veggies. I am so excited to eat this. It looks gorgeous. Look at that. And it smells incredible so we're gonna do a little taste test mm -hmm. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. I just had a smoothie for breakfast. I had a blueberry smoothie, which was so good. I honestly missed having smoothies because I didn't have a blender yet, but my immersion blender came in yesterday and I'm so happy that I have that now. But I'm craving like a little second breakfast because I don't find smoothies the most filling, to be honest, if I don't put a protein powder in them. And I also have been craving a croissant because I haven't gotten a croissant yet from a bakery here so i definitely want to try that out so i'm gonna go to the bakery right now get a croissant and then later on i'm going to be showing you lunch i have my croissant but i have to be honest it doesn't look that good so i'm very curious on how it's going to taste It is good, don't get me wrong. 
but for a French croissant, it's a bit disappointing. Okay, I'm about to make lunch right now. I decided to make a quinoa bowl because I had some leftover quinoa from my tuna salad. So I just put the quinoa on the plate already. And then what I'm going to use today is some eggs, an avocado, some mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, and spinach. <laughs> sprinkle a little bit of olive oil over the tomato and avocado for some healthy fats finally I'm going to pour over some lemon juice and I try not to pour it over the eggs because I feel like that will ruin the taste the combination of spinach with mushrooms and avocado is so good and I also love eggs with that ignore my dark circles I went to bed really late yesterday so and that's why I look very tired. Anyways, I am about to make some lunch. I already have some water boiling and I'm going to make a pasta salad. I love using pasta for um, pasta salads. So I always do cucumber, tomatoes and uh, pepper. And then I also always add some corn. And then I love adding a vinegary dressing to it. So whilst the pasta is cooking, I'm going to chop up these veggies. is done and I'm going to add it straight to the salad because I really like to not let the pasta cool down. I really like the way it tastes when the pasta is still a little bit warm but you can obviously also let the pasta cool down before adding it. Okay so for the dressing I'm going to use apple cider vinegar as well as balsamic vinegar. It's really important that you use a balsamic vinegar that's what makes it taste so good and I like to play around with the acidity. So that's why I'm also going to add lemon juice, olive oil, and some pepper. Okay, so that's lunch. And if you have some chives at home, I can also really recommend adding it. Thank you. 